In this lesson, we will look at a super quick way to get started with ESLint. ESLint is now the standardized linting tool, both for JavaScript as well as TypeScript. Once we have ESLint configured, we will also show how you can configure VS Code to use ESLint so you get a great developer experience. Let's go. In order to get a representation of a project without ESLint, we will use Create React app to create a bare bones TypeScript React application. Once it's created, we go ahead and cd into the directory and open it up within VS Code. Now the quickest way to add ESLint to any project is to run npx eslint minus minus in it. Now we open up the terminal and run that command and eslint will prompt us to gather information about our particular use case. It will use this information to create a configuration file as well as install packages that would be needed at runtime. We will use it to check syntax and find problems as enforcing code style is something that you can offload to another tool like Prettier. Now all new projects should be using JavaScript import export so we go ahead and select that. And now for this project we have React application so we'll select that as well. This project also uses TypeScript so yes for that. And this code is designed to run in the browser so select that. Now finally for the configuration file I recommend JavaScript as that gives you the greatest flexibility. Now based on the answers to the questions, it's figured out that we need to install these dependencies. So go ahead and say yes, and ESLint will install them for us. Now once the installation is complete, it also creates a configuration file called .eslintrc.js. Now there is an error message showing up here that the version of React is not specified. So we can open up the settings file and under settings React, specify that the version should be automatically detected by the React plugin for ESLint. And that's it for installing and configuring ESLint. Now a great way to run ESLint on your codebase is through the package.json script section. We will add a lint script which will run ESLint only for the source directory and only for TS and TSX files. And now whenever we want to lint all the source files either locally or on the build server, we can run npm run lint. In this particular case, we have no lint issues, so we're good to go. As an added bonus, we will configure ESLint within VS Code so that issues get highlighted while we are working on the code base. Open up the extension marketplace within VS Code and search for ESLint. Now this extension is provided by Dirk who works for Microsoft and it's one of the most downloaded extensions within VS Code. If it's not already installed, go ahead and install it. Now this extension will activate whenever we open up a TypeScript or JavaScript file and you can see this extension's log by going into the output panel and selecting ESLint. This can be useful if you ever want to debug any issues with this extension. In our case, the extension is working perfectly fine as we do not see any warning or error messages. To demonstrate some of its features, we're going to write code that should give an error with ESLint. Now the default configuration for ESLint has a rule that keeps you from committing debugger statements by mistake. And you can see that this gets picked up by the ESLint extension. This extension also provides quick fixes allowing you to conveniently suppress errors as well as look up documentation for them. And that's all for this lesson on configuring ESLint for your codebase and configuring VS Code to use ESLint. Smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you in the next one.